What's up everybody? Chris with South Carolina Gun School and today we're going to do a little edumacations on a twist rate. Welcome back everybody. Like I said, we're going to be educating on twist rate with your rifle to kind of help you better understand what twist rate is. Now I'll be honest, I'm not going to sit here and delve deep down into twist rate and ballistics and all that stuff. I just want to kind of give you a brief education on what the twist rate is what it does and kind of help you understand so you know what you're looking for when you go out and buy a rifle okay so what the twist rate is all right is that's the ratio of inches of bullet travel needed for a full rotation okay so your longer barrels are going to have a little bit higher twist rate Okay, so for example, something with a probably I would say 20 inch barrel might have a 1 in 12 twist rate. And we're going we're gonna to talk about that, okay? Now, most of your modern AR platforms are going to have either a 1 in 7, a 1 in 8, or a 1 in 9 twist rate. So if I sit and take a look at this one here on the barrel, it gives me my caliber and then it gives me one in seven. So this is a one in seven twist rate. Now your one in seven twist rates are your mil spec choice. So that's normally probably what you're gonna see in most of your modern AR-15s is a one in seven twist rate. Especially anything set up like your M4 platform. So this is how this thing is set up is in an M4 platform. I'm not a big fan of this setup. All right, that's why you don't, I don't there's no optics or anything on it right now because I'm currently in the process of changing this setup a little bit. But I wanted to use this because it's standard mil spec rifle. One in seven is going to be your mil spec, okay? Now, so before I get into the one in seven, one in eight, one in nine, and all this stuff, what that means is is for my bullet to rotate, have one full rotation, it has to travel seven inches. So that's what the one in seven is. So for one, one in seven, one full rotation needs to go seven inches. One in eight, one full rotation needs to go eight inches. One in nine, one full rotation needs to go nine inches. And then like I said, your longer barrels you're looking at maybe something like uh, 1 in 12. 1 in 12 means for a full rotation it's got to go 12 inches. So that's another thing to think about when you're looking at getting a rifle with the twist rate. How long is the barrel? The length of the barrel is going to play factor in that as well too. So you have some ARs that you can get that are just a 7 inch barrel. So if it's a one, if it's considered mil spec, it's probably going to be 1 in 7. That means you're going to get one full rotation before it leaves that barrel. This one is a 16 inch barrel. So one in seven means I'm gonna get, what, two full rotations and then, I don't know, another quarter rotation or something like that. Like I said, I don't, I'm not gonna to get too deep into that. I just wanna give you a kind of, a, again, a brief synopsis of how the twist rate works. All right, now your one in eight um, is a little bit more versatile as far as the weight of the bullet that is best for it. All right, and then your one in nine twist rate is going to be kind of in the middle, I would say, um, as far as what it handles, as far as your, or maybe on even on the lower end, as far as your bullet weight, okay? So yes, your twist rate also will be, um, I guess not necessarily affected, but as far as what kind of weight 
of the bullet is best for that twist rate. So your one in seven twist rate, again, is mil spec. It's going to be better to have somewhere between a 55 to a 90 grain bullet. Now, best is going to be between 70 and 90 grains. So the best bullet for this gun is going to be somewhere between 70 and 90 grains. All right, but I can still have good performance between 55 and 90 grain. Now your one and eight, again, is a little more versatile. So it can hold from a 45 grain all the way up to an 87 grain. So that's why it's versatile. You've got a wide range there. Now best is gonna be on the upper end, 62 grain to 77 grain is gonna be the best for one and eight. Your one and nine will hold somewhere between 45 grain to 77 grain. Uh, best is gonna be on the lower end, the lighter bullets. Uh, 45 grain to 62 grain all right so your rotation is is pretty much means the more rotations the further you're going to get out of that bullet as long as it's in that real the best rating for that twist rate as well too so again one in seven is going to hold the heavier ones so 70 to 90 grain is going to be the best for it so that i'm going to get a better distance out of it Okay, but that, again, it's also depending on how long my barrel is. So if my barrel is only a 10 inch barrel, you know, I'm only getting one and a little bit more on the rotation. Okay, so, but that is what your twist rate is. Your twist rate again is how many rotate, is one rotation per seven inches, eight inches, nine inches, whatever that twist rate is. So one is the rotation, the number after that, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, whatever it might be, will be how far it needs to go, how many inches it needs to go for that full rotation. All right, so again, longer barrels, you're going to get longer distance, you're going to have more twist rate. But I just wanted to help everybody understand because I get questions a lot around twist rate. Now, me personally, I'll be honest. When I'm looking at what I per se call my fighting gun, meaning shit's hit the fan, we're, we're, we're digging in and we're fighting. I'll be honest, I'm not too much worried about twist rate. I'm not too much worried about how heavy the bullet is because I'm not going to sit there and be like, oh, well, I've got my barrel that's, uh, or my rifle that's a one and eight twist, so I need my 62 to 77 grain bullet let me go find i'm not worried about that it's gotten bad i need to get rounds down range so truthfully i'm not worried about twist rate when it comes to a fighting rifle now if it's a rifle that i need to make precision shots that i've got a sniper's nest set up all right or i'm going to do some type of precision shooting then yes i'm really looking at twist rate i'm looking at the weight of the bullet you know, the who made the bullet, I want to spend a little bit more on those bullets. That's when I'm starting to look at that stuff. But for what I consider my fighting rifle, it's not that big of a deal, okay? But again, I wanted to give y'all some edumacations around twist rate so you can better understand what it is, how it works, and what it's made for. So I really hope this has helped everybody. Um, again, Standard ARs are going to be a 1 in 7, a 1 in 8, or a 1 in 9. Your longer barrels, that's when you're going to get into your longer twist rates. Um, I'll be honest, I'm not really sure what else is out there past 1 in 7, 1 in 8, 1 in 9, because I've mainly dealt with ARs. I don't do much precision shooting. Um, I'd like to get more into it to better understand it, but I hope this helps everybody and gives you a little better understanding of twist rates so you know what you're looking at. I hope everybody enjoyed the video. And always remember, if you're not shooting, you're reloading. If you're not reloading, you're fighting. If you're not fighting, you're dead. Train to live. See you on the range.